Welcome back. You can quarantine in a clean home during the pandemic by keeping your floors spotless. What Zero Res has to offer in today's sponsored segment. All right, it's not just the dirt that makes your carpets look dirty. We have Jake Stone from Zero Res to tell us what is happening with our carpets. <laughs> That's a great question. There's, there's a couple things. Well, one, it's probably dirt right now. We've been in quarantine for I don't know how long now. Oh, it seems <laughs> like for 10 years, but yeah. <laughs> so that definitely dirt makes your carpet look dirty. The other is when you have debris in your carpet, dirt, dust, whatever that is, um, and, and then you walk on it. Imagine that you took a piece of glass and you put it on rocks or sand and you just scratched it around. So the glass gets really tarnished. Oh, yeah. And then you can't see it through it as well. It doesn't look the same, right? Your carpet's a lot the same. It's got this sheen to it. If you took a microscope and, and, and zoomed into your carpet, you'd be able to see that it's got this like glass looking sheen on each fiber. And when you put dirt in there and you walk on it a ton, it starts to scratch it and you get that dinge in your carpet. And that happens anywhere in your carpet that you're walking. So why is it really important to get a professional cleaner? Because if you use your own shampoo carpet cleaner, you're using that soap. But what I love what you do, you take out the chemicals. Yes, we don't use soaps or detergents. And soaps and detergents are going to do the same thing. They're going to take that dirt and debris, make it stick to the carpet. So when you walk on it, it gets that scratch on it. It gets that tarnished look. And then and, crunchy. Yeah. And you can definitely tell where those spots are sometimes. Absolutely. 100%. And, and even spotters. I've got neighbors of mine that have reached out and been like, hey, I've got these spots on my carpet. How do I get them out? And, and Usually I ask, what have you been using? And they're like, oh, well, I've got this. I got the store. It's just like, no, guys. Oh, you, you actually physically took my soap and put it in the trash. Yes. <laughs> at I my was house. like, what are you using? Yeah. And you're like, well, it's this. And I was like, let me, uh, let let me help you. Okay. So, guys, hot water. Hot water is going to be your, your, your biggest saving grace, right? Vacuuming often and then prof professionally cleaning often. That's going to avoid the damage to your carpet, the dirtiness, that look, right? And, and overall health. Now, the other thing that people forget a lot of times, is those extra bedrooms. You've got the spare bedrooms, the guest bedrooms. They, oftentimes when you're vacuuming, you're like, ah, no one went oh, in there. Oh, we can go for another month Vacuum or so. Vacuum everywhere but that room because we're good. This right? is surprising, though, what you're about to say. Those are probably, when we go to clean and do tests in each of the rooms, a lot of times people will be like, hey, we're not going to clean that room. No one ever goes in there. And oftentimes I'll be like, hey, listen, can we test that room to see what we can pull out? We pull the most out of those rooms because people typically skip the vacuuming there. And wow. so it just gathers a bunch of, of, of dirt and debris from the air. Your carpet is your biggest filter in your home, right? And it's still flowing air in those bedrooms. And so it's just collecting the dust. And so when you don't vacuum in there, you it's just collecting have there. Okay, Jake, this is the best time because kids maybe they're back to school. This is the time where you can get in and really clean those carpets and that fourth bedroom. A great deal happening right now. Yes, thirty-three dollars and the fourth room free. Okay, now's that time to get that fourth room, which is your guest room. All right, call that number there on your screen and get it done. Thanks, yes, Jake. Thank you. Zero Res. We'll have a link on our website, abc4.com.